Inelasticity and elasticity of demand refer to the degree to which the demand of a product changes, if at all, to the change in an economic factor, usually price. Take, for example, prescription drugs. The demand for these will still be high, even if the price increases because many people need them in order to survive. When a product's demand does not change much with its price, we say that it is inelastic. Examples of inelastic products include prescription drugs, utilities, and tobacco products. When the response to price changes is considerable, we say the demand is elastic. Examples of elastic products include things that have a lot of substitutes, like a specific brand of cereal or clothing. Luxury items are also considered elastic. The elasticity of demand at the point Q sub A comma P sub A is given by this formula. If you've never seen this symbol before, this is the Greek letter eta. And eta represents the elasticity of demand, and it's equal to negative P over Q times dQ dP, all of that evaluated at the point Q sub A comma P sub A. Remember, P represents the price and Q represents the quantity. Now that looks kind of like an intimidating equation. So let's go over some examples where we work with that equation. Example one says, find the elasticity of the demand function P plus 5Q equals 100 when the price is $40, $60, and $50. So let's remind ourselves what the elasticity of demand function is. So we have eta is equal to negative P over Q times dQ dP. And we want to evaluate that for a specific P and Q value. Now, I'm going to solve this equation, the original equation that's given. I'm going to solve it for Q. So if I solve that for Q, I get 5Q equals 100 minus P, and then I get Q equals 20 minus 1 fifths P. And if I take the derivative of that with respect to P, then I get dQ dP is equal to, 20 is a constant, so that becomes zero, and then our derivative just ends up being negative one-fifth. So in all of these, our eta is going to be negative P over Q times negative one-fifth, since negative one-fifth is a constant. So I'm just going to replace that in. Um, so for all of these parts A, B, and C, we're just going to plug in the price, which is 40 60 and $50. We're going to plug that into the P here. And we just need to figure out, like for example, when the price is $40, what is the quantity going to be? And we can figure that out by plugging it into that equation. So let's do part A. Q is going to equal 20 minus 1 fifth P but I want to evaluate it for when the price is 40. So Q is equal to 20 minus 1 fifth times 40. And that gives us 20 minus 8, which gives us 12. So that means that our eta value is going to be negative 40 over 12 times negative 1 fifth and that is going to be two-thirds. So for this one, eta is equal to two-thirds. Let's do part B. We want to figure out Q when P is equal to 60. And that gives us 20 minus 12, which is 8. So then eta is going to equal negative 60 over 8 times negative 1 fifth, and that gives us 3 halves. So eta is equal to 3 halves for part B. 
And then lastly, for part C, we have Q is equal to 20 minus 1 fifth times 50. And that gives us 20 minus 10, which is equal to 10. So in this case, eta is equal to negative 50 over 10 times negative 1 fifth. And that ends up equaling 1. So in this case, we get eta is equal to 1. And those are the elasticity of demand for part A, B, and C. If eta is greater than 1, the demand is elastic, and the percent decrease in demand is greater than the corresponding percent increase in price. And remember, elastic means that something is sensitive to the change in price. If eta is less than 1, the demand is inelastic, and the percent decrease in demand is less than the corresponding percent increase in price. If eta is equal to 1, the demand is unitary elastic, and the percent decrease in demand is approximately equal to the corresponding percent increase in price.